Hi guys, VST here, Valens Pistech. Welcome back on my channel. Today I'm gonna show you what is the difference between hiding an app and locking an app. What is the impact to the notification displayed on the phone? What is the impact of people taking the phone and finding the app? I get these questions, Android 11, Auction OS 11. Can we hide apps? Can we lock apps? So I decided to do this video and also guys show you exactly the difference. Um, I'm actually using a very nice app to test push notification. Just gonna show it on the screen right now with you. So push notification tester, we press start. First your phone need to get a check that you really are enabled to receive notifications. And then guys, you can even choose a delay. So right now I'm choosing the delay and the priority. Two seconds, request notification, two. Okay, you see, I just have received a notification and I can also read the text of this notification. So we're gonna be using this test notification app to see if we are able to hide the app, hide all the notifications and see what is the difference between hiding an app and unlocking the app in the latest Android 11, Oxygen OS 11. All right, guys, so you know that you, when you take your fingers and you do like this, you can go to home settings, right? And you can access all the settings for the launcher. Okay, but what happens when you do the opposite? So you just pinch like that. You can now go into the hide menu. So I have to authenticate with my finger. So guys, just show it once more. You just take your fingers, do like this. And then apparently guys, you can go into your hidden space. Now, very important about hidden space is only ideal if you wanna put certain up there only selected apps can be hidden from the OnePlus launch drawer, which means that everybody that has access to your phone will not be able to see these applications installed on your phone. But have in mind, guys, that all the notifications displayed by those apps are still going to be displayed on the phone. So let's say you can put there the Telegram or Viber, and all the people might not be able to find them on your phone. When you get a notification, it will be displayed. But I want to show you how this works, and I want to show you guys what is the difference between hiding an application and locking an application. So I'm just gonna take here and I'm just going to add here this notification pusher. So I'm just adding it, okay? So right now, you know, I just have this in the hidden space, okay? And I can remove it from here. So now I have removed the application from my home screen. And if I go here also in the drawer, guys, I will not be able to find it, all right? But in order to access it, I just will need to go in my hide that apps and then boom, it's there, okay? But right now, of course, without a password. If you want to put a password, you just need to click here and put enable password. And then of course you can go also with your fingerprint. So right now application is not there, not being able to find it also here, right? But if I do like this guys, and I, I'm gonna go into my hide apps, I need to authenticate and then I'm able to access it. Now what happens when the application is hidden with a password and you let's say receive a notification? I'm just gonna show this to you. I'm just gonna choose one second here as a delay factor. Okay, boom. You know, I received a notification and I'm able to read it. Now what I'm gonna do guys, I'm just gonna clear this one, right? I'm just gonna go back to my hidden apps. I'm just going to remove it from there, okay, and hide. And I'm gonna show you the difference between a hidden app and a locked app. All right, now, open settings, scroll down to utilities, and inside utilities, we have something called App Locker. When you open this, you need to put your pin and enter. You have here the toggle to hide notification content. So notification content will be hidden for App Locker enabled apps. Right now, I have to choose the application. So I press Add Apps, find the application, and of course, lock it. Now, push notification tester. Okay, what will happen right now if I try to access this locked application? I'm just gonna open the drawer. I'm just gonna scroll down, push notification, Okay, now I can access it because apparently I've opened the phone. But what happens if I just close the phone, right? I reopen my phone and I want to access it. Okay, it's gonna want a pin code or it's gonna want actually here fingerprint. Okay, what happens if I wanna see notification? Once I've unlocked the phone and I've entered also this locked application, I can just go and request the notification. Okay, let's just choose a delay factor of one. Okay, notification is here and we can also see the text of the notification. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna use a delay factor of six seconds, but before that, I'm just going to power off my phone and power on again and not turn the application on, not unlock it. So request notification, okay. Now closing everything, closing, opening the phone again, okay. You see, the notification has been received, but I am not able to read it. I wanna read this notification, I need to still again open the app, I need to put my pin code there, and right now the notification is displayed. So guys, two important things. 
If you want to hide an application from the drawer, you can use just the hiding option, but then every time you get a notification, it's going to be displayed. If you want to completely lock notification and also lock the content of the notification application, you need to lock the application, but every time you receive a notification, it's still going to be displayed there, but you're not going to be able to see the text of the notification. And that's kind of like the big difference between hiding an app and also locking an app. Right, I really hope guys that this video was useful for you and also proven that this works in Android 11 and OxygenOS 11. If that's the case, please like it, subscribe to my channel and we see each other very, very soon. VST over and bye.